the Lasker Trap. It comes after d4, d5, and pawn to c4, the queen's gambit. We are going to go pawn to e5, this is known as the Alban counter gambit. They will take it, we push to d4, and they play pawn to e3, trying to trade off our pawn in the center. We go bishop to b4 check, they will block their bishop on d2, and now we completely ignore and take on e3 with our pawn, gambiting our bishop. They will take it, and we take on f2 with our pawn. They cannot take it, because then they would just lose their queen. So instead they move to e7, at which point we take on g1, but we do not promote to a queen, we promote to a knight. The reason for this is that it's check, because if we promote it to a queen, uh, if I go back here, if we promote it to a queen, then they could just trade everything off, and now white is actually better here. But because we promote to a knight with check, they don't have a chance to do that, so they have to take it. Now we play bishop to g4 skewering, and we're just going to win their queen and win the game. That is how you win with